me, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go over to 4-5. We're coming to the epic conclusion of World 4. Well, as epic as a gameplay video can be with 99 lives in it, um, that block with the cloud symbol, or I should say, the happy cloud face symbol thingy, uh, that gives you a lake or two that throws coins, there's a normal one that throws spinies of death, and I would really, really like- THANK YOU! Uh, why are you such a coward, Yoshi? Why? Anyway, that's coin number one. Not that hard to get, even if you didn't have Yoshi there. Um, so let's just take a look around here. All these switch sizes like that, these weird mushroom top things, I don't know what the heck they are. Again, the creators were on crack when they made this. And there's another link it to that throws coins. This is like a bonus town all over the place in a regular level. And wait, 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 I see something that I might want. There we go. Follow the trail of coins. There's coin number two. Yay! And drop down here. Checkpoint as well. Um, let's see what I get if I eat these berries. Or I should say enough of these berries. Because I didn't really take much time to pick up them, even though I could have easily. Okay, let's see. It's number five. And I get a fire flower. Yay! That's kind of useless when you're on Yoshi, but I suppose it's good if I ever get knocked off the uh, Grand Cherokee here. <clears throat> so let's just try and keep him as long as I can. I'm almost betting that since this is a ah, Yoshi level, I'm going to need him at some point. Come back here. No, don't turn around. Oh, he's just going to be trapped here, isn't he? Yep. So, okay, what's up here? Hello there, pipe. Was not expecting to see you. Ah, there's the last coin. Oh, I see this. We want coin like it too. So I can get his cloud and get the treasures that are up in the sky. Man, this was an easy one to get the three star coins of it. I mean, seriously, compared to the last one, I should say the last part, this one just like went awfully smoothly. Not complaining though, that was pretty nice. And there's no secret exit either that I remember. Uh, so I'm just gonna run through the rest of this. I don't really care about the red coins. Uh, I've already showed you what happens when I collect the red coins anyway, so who cares at this point? And. Uh, oh well. I was gonna try licking Lake it to there off his cloud, just using the cloud to get to the goal, but oh well. Oh, bye bye, Yoshi. Oh, poor thingy gets left behind. And... Oh, we get to hear the awesome castle music again! Oh, here we go! The last stage of World 4 is upon us. Here we go! Oh, we get the Mega Spikes! I love Mega Spikes. They are ginormous. They are epic. They are classic. What other, I mean, what game have you ever seen Mega Spikes in, or I should say, Spikes of this size in, ever? And, you know, you gotta look at the Mega Spikes and think to yourself, hmm, they don't actually seem that sharp at the tip there, unless you're like smashed against something there. I mean, but if you touch the tip, they're pointy enough to cause damage, even if they don't squish you. It makes no sense whatsoever, and I'm on the wrong side of these grades. Curses! Ah, uh, cursed offenses. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do here. Woo! Like that! And now I'm behind the world. So I can climb like that and get the coin. I forgot to do that ahead of time. But that's okay. It's not that hard to do whatsoever. So that's coin number one. And now there's no secret exit here. Oh, that's a dangerous one to get. A slam, slam, thank you, and drop. Number two is there. So let's continue on our path, collect the coins, and... Oh, oh, that's right, I have to, <laughs> I have to flip around here. There we go. Uh, there's a wall there if you don't see that. Um, anything in the ceiling? No, okay. Just wanted to be sure. There's a big open space there, I should say open wall. I thought, man, there could have been something. But, but now, come to think of it, I don't think there is. It's, the last coin is later on. So, little checkpoint. Yay! Uh, okay, I probably want the ice flower for something since it's giving it to me. Yeah. 
Ugh, good thing I'm safe up there. That would be kind of dangerous. They don't kill you in one hit. Uh, even if you get squished by them, which is kind of strange. But, uh, they still cause damage, so be wary about that. Oh, this is the last... This is the place with the last coin. I have to go down here. And, oh, maybe, maybe this isn't the one. Hmm. Oh, there's a little red coin mini game here. Uh, this is not going to be hard to do whatsoever. Just avoid the spike ball. And, and... I always think of different levels when I say, like, uh, this is gonna be the place of the coin or something like that. I always must be thinking of some, some other level later on. Well, anyway, yeah, like that little bonus there was worth it for that one up. I mean, come on, I'm still at 99 lives. Come on, spiky, 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 there you go. And now I can gracefully grab this pal block and move on ahead. There's gonna be another one right here, isn't there? Yep. Um, I forgot if I'm supposed to, like, use this pal block somewhere to get a coin, or, you know, get a star coin, like, to make it drop from the ceiling, or if I'm just supposed to go on ahead. I don't remember. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. There's a, there's a third area with, um, with those mega spikes, with very, very large mega spike. I mean, with a very, very long mega spike. Oh, I remember where the last one is. Um, if any of these skeleton fish here sees you, they'll immediately come after you, like that. They can only go in the direction that they aim themselves at, so it's no big deal. But I remember where it is now. You go up into here. Wait, wait, what? It's not here? Come on, man, you're killing me. There must be some other level that I swim into some hidden uh, swimming area thingy. I don't know. I could have swore. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of another level again. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to continue on and hope I didn't miss the coin. Hmm. Let's check these walls real quick. E e nothing? No? Okay. I'm going on ahead. Fine game. If you're gonna be like that. Okay, this is the one with the extra long mega spike. Watch us. Look how far that thing goes out, and it takes forever to get back in, too. Uh, you want to kind of time your jump to give you as much time as possible. Uh, I believe there's a power-up in that thingy over there. I don't really feel like checking it at the moment. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, this was the pipe. I swear, if this isn't the coin, I'm hitting myself over the head. Okay. <laughs> With the Wii remote, I was going to say. And there is the last coin. Fine. You know what? I really don't feel like checking those boxes. I really don't. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm just gonna run through here and uh, get to the boss. Wendy version 2. Here we go. Suspenseful silence. Somehow, Kamek can create water from the ceiling. Yeah, evidently he can turn bricks into uh, water or something, and the object is obviously to hit Wendy when the water is low. Ah, uh, not when, not in the water. You'll take a hit then. And otherwise, yeah, that's all there is to this fight. It's the same as before, except you got the addition of water on occasion. And ah, uh, that was stupid of me. I really hope I don't die in this fight. This fight isn't that hard at all. So let's just, uh... One just disperse there, and all I have to do is survive until she is vulnerable again. Oh, no, no! I don't want to die! I really don't want to die. Okay, I'm just going to play this safe here. There we go. There we go. That's the end. Gimme! Gimme! Woo! Aww. Woo! There we go. <laughs> and that's the end of the castle. And World 4. Or is it? Remember I said before that Mario should just jump on the airship? Well, he finally is going to take my advice. Aha! 
You missed your ride, Bowser Jr. The chase is on! Whee! Look at it go! What? Get him, Mario! Get him! And, yep, this is the last level of the World 4. 4 dash airship. Let's get this sucker started after a quick save here. Well, it's not an actual quick save, it's a save that's fast. You get the idea. Here we go! We get awesome mu ship music. I was gonna say ghost ship music for some reason, but it's not ghost ship, it's an airship. Um, you can ground pound these crates like this. Yep! To break them apart. Great for getting coins, and there's also uh, Mega Koopas here. There's burners. It's a classic Mario airship. Oh, you kind of love this. You just have to love it if you play the Mario game, especially Mario 3. So, whoa, no, 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 I don't think so. But I do want this coin. Yay! That's coin number one. Hey, burner, move before I get trampled by the Mega Koopas. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought this was going to be one of those ledges that you can grab onto. I panicked for nothing, which happens quite a lot. Whoa! <laughs> uh, ice flower. Is that something that I want? Probably. And there we go. What's in here? What's in here? Come on. I, s I swear I was pressing down there to do a ground pump. And can I... Yeah. Aww. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I, I, just, I just wall kick up there. <laughs> I was trying to do it the, like, straightforward way, but wall kicking would have been a lot easier. And, and in fact, it is more straightforward. Um, there's a pipe down there, obviously. It's probably going to contain the next coin. So let's go deep within the depths of the ship. And by depths, I mean out in the open. <laughs> On the underside of the ship, yeah, these are the nuts that are that were from Mario 3. These are a lot easier to stay on, though. Um, just jump as soon as you touch it, and you'll be able to jump right off it. It's, it really is just like Mario 3's nuts, uh, but it's a lot easier to stay on. And they're a lot larger, so that helps as well. Uh, that's probably that way because of this being a multiplayer game, or based on being a multiplayer game. So, you know, it's got to give your opponents, or I should say your teammates, whatever way you feel they're going to be, an extra room. Yeah, I didn't really care about that one up, one up there because of the fact that I have 99 lives! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, wait, wait, is that some... Oh, I need to break that crate. Ow! With the bomb. -bom. Does that work? I hope that works. I really hope... Oh, come on. There we go. Yay! And that's the last coin. Hopefully, PK Gam will be successful. And why am I talking about myself in the third person? I don't know. So, here we go. Versus Bowser Jr. Uh, there's a bunch of... Different Bowser Jr. fights in this game. In this one, you have to get above him and spin jump. I should say, spin downwards onto his head. Uh, needless to say, fire hurts. That's the first thing our uh, caveman ancestors told us about. And that uh, fireball that he shoots at you is actually a homing, ah, homing fireball. Be right back. And we're back! This time I've got a power-up, so this will make it extra easy. Uh, this fight isn't that hard at all, really. I was just being a dupe. <laughs> what the heck just happened there? I didn't... Huh. That was really weird. I... How the heck did I even drop that block anyway while I was spinning? I don't know. Anyway, he only takes three hits to go down. Uh, come on. Shoot a fireball. There we go. Now I'll get on your head. And I just gotta wait for another fireball and repeat the cycle. See, this is what I mean about it. <clears throat> this is what I mean about it being really easy. Just go up, just repeat the pattern, and that's it. Oh, you don't even have to spin. You can just hit him normally just by landing on top of him. Well, uh oh. Hey, don't yell at me. You're the one that sold the princess. Well, along with Bowser's kids. And that's the end of World 4! Yeah! Be proud of yourself. It only gets harder from here on out, though. 100%ed, baby.
And that's all I'm going to be doing for this part. So I'm going to end it off here. World 5 is the forest. There's going to be wigglers and toxic swamps. So I guess you could say it's a toxic forest of sorts. Because that's the kind of theme of uh, these forest levels in both the original New Super Mario Brothers as well as this game. So I'll just say it's a toxic forest of some sorts. But as I said, I'm ending it off here. Hope you enjoy. See you in the next part. Tchau,